Eastern European architecture before the Cold War versus the Eastern European architecture during the Cold War. They were doing Minecraft buildings before it was cool. What was their obsession with blocks? This actually gives a whole new meaning to Eastern blocks. Say what you want, but this stuff is probably a lot easier to build, and this thing could probably only fit like 12 people in it anyways. When Pope tells you not to trade with the Muslims, but you notice he's wearing a robe made from Chinese silk. Wait a second, how did that get here then? Should've put a little asterisk. Don't trade with the Muslims unless it's for the drink. Canadians now versus certain sections of the Geneva Convention being made specifically because of Canadian brutality to German POWs in World War One. Uh, yeah, we gonna need Canada to explain themselves a little bit here. Canadian soldiers in World War One on their way to commit so many atrocities against German POWs that the Geneva Convention has sections dedicated to banning what they did. You think they apologized for it? I love how the memes just found this out. Elvis and his manager after deciding to sell both I love Elvis badges and I hate Elvis badges in order to profit off the people who aren't buying Elvis merchandise. That is actually pretty genius. I need to make like a I hate Drudenel plushie. Armor in medieval films, pretty much the blade can slice through practically anything versus historical armor. This is pretty much just going to be a boxing match, right? Instead, but with like uh, dull blades and things. Yeah, they're just like basically fighting with this stuff on. Couple shanks here and there, not much. This is actually so much cooler. Just imagine watching UFC, except they both have just like armored plates all over the place. But yeah, when you put it like this, armor is actually pretty OP. Van Gogh watching from beyond the grave how popular his paintings got after only selling one while being alive. Yeah, this dude probably should have just faked his death instead. Why did that happen to so many artists? Boris Yeltsin becomes president of Russia. Also, Boris Yeltsin. There is no way I can do this sober. I mean, considering all the things that were going on, can you really blame him? I mean, he was the first Russian president after the Soviet collapse. Probably wasn't gonna be that fun. MFers in the 1930s when this banger came out. Well, this is definitely how all of Germany themselves uh, reacted. And if you were neighboring Germany, you were forced to react like this too. I wonder if there's a concert you can go to where they'd actually play this. I have a feeling they'd be big fans of this song in Argentina right now. Boy, I sure love bullying the Italian weirdos who moved into the South. Wait. What the fuck? Forgot the Romans invading Britannia were like Italian weirdos. They were just moving everywhere at this time. Stalin proposed of oofing 50,000 to 100,000 German officers so that Germany could not plan another world war. The American President Roosevelt jokingly said maybe 49,000 would be enough. Churchill was not very happy. Lol, we should just execute 100,000 Germans. <laughs> just a silly joke though. I was only playing. Ah, Stalin, what a comedian. He was out here just trying to pull an epic prank. You've just been liberated from the Dutch, do do, oh by the, by the Japanese, no do do there. Talk about an Indonesia moment. Actually, just talk about like a Southeast Asia moment in general. Myanmar had technically been liberated from the British and Indochina from the French. Unfortunately, Japan was gonna be even worse though. The Pope, I can't let you do that. That's against the Bible. Monarchs shows them just a little bit of the Benjamins, which this gift doesn't have Benjamins, and also monarchs didn't have. Benjamins at the time. Regardless, all you had to do is give the Pope the bag and he'd be like, oh, why didn't you just say so? Do whatever you want. Alfred Noble creating an award to celebrate those who benefited mankind after a French newspaper called him the Merchant of Death. And man, was this an effective strategy. Should have just done this from the very beginning. Like before he invented dynamite and sold it and stuff like that. I guess that's how he's given the nickname. Bronze Age outfits, according to Hollywood, versus the stuff people actually wore. Yeah, going into a battle sleeveless is not the most effective strategy, or going into battle without anything to protect your head, also not very smart. But how are they supposed to display emotion this way? I gotta let my enemy know that I'm angry. Sir, we found the person who started the lie that Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. Oh, let's go. Where he is. Where he is. <laughs> It's not gonna end go, go, too well for this go, man. Go. He's like screaming down the hallway. I've heard so many rumors of how it started, but I don't know the real story. But she definitely didn't say let them eat cake because why would she say that in English when she's French? The Chinese rebuffing the opportunity to trade with British envoys in fluent Latin as that was the language of Europe when they last engaged with the continent. Unfortunately though, they were going to be English speaking Anglo-Saxons now. They thought they were so cool, but unfortunately his envoys came back and they're like, what's Latin? What a nice try. Though. World War II be like, haha, die, no no German, for the supreme race. World War I be like, why are we fighting? I don't know. Seems like they kind of forgot the whole motive part of the original. Glad they fixed that plot hole in the sequel though. The British people realizing King Arthur's legends are largely the work of medieval Frenchmen. Everyone better keep an eye on their British homies today. Something tells me they're not gonna have a good time after this. But I'm pretty sure Monty Python knew about this though. This sun god, after I kill someone in his name. I'm just imagining like the little cute baby noises. 
noises. Hopefully now he'll give me the ability to stop a cannonball that's moving straight at my face. The Allies invading southern France while there's some guy on the beach handing out champagne. He out here just vibing. Let him do his thing. This is like the most French thing I've ever heard. At the Academy Awards for Wars. And the Oscar goes to the Vietnam War for Best Soundtrack. Can't argue against Fortunate Son. World War II for Best Remake. World War One for Best Technical Achievement. Nobody was expecting that huge jump in technology. The Korean War for Best Post-Production. Crazy that that one even got made. I heard they were just gonna nuke the whole thing. The Falkland Wars for Best Leading Lady. They had to give to someone. The First Iraq War, Best Actor. The Second Iraq War for Best Screenplay for an Original Fantasy. <laughs> and finally, the Afghanistan War, Best Western Adaption of a Foreign Film. Wait, is this because the Soviets did it first or something? You think the Ukraine invasion will get Best Reboot? What are the Romulus Brothers' view on their new settlement? Remus says, we can coexist in this settlement as brothers. Romulus says, it will be called Rome and it will be built on your bones. Man, he had such a way with words. No wonder he survived for longer. Prehistoric humans when they had to sacrifice a bit of their height to have agriculture and civilizations. Quite literally a small price to pay for civilization. Wait, so how tall were we before? Is this what happened to me? I knew I wanted to return to monkey for a reason. On average from switching from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to crops and farms, we lost 1.5 inches off our height. Alright, well 1.5 inches wasn't really gonna save me much anyways. I'll allow it. The well-equipped and trained Japanese army thinking they can invade Papua New Guinea. Meanwhile, some young Aussie troops with little experience and little training. Little experience and little training. They were literally from Australia. Everything wanted to kill them there. Your Australian is just made for war. Ancient generals every time they lose a decisive battle. This was a line often said throughout history. Japan did this a lot as well. Men. What the hell happened here? In the span of 600 years, we literally lost all drip. What were we even thinking? This is hideous. Movie. We consulted a linguistic to make the dialogue as historically accurate as possible. Meanwhile, the dialogue. What? 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 Honestly, who says they didn't talk like this? I'm not technically a linguistic. Who the F installed Rome Total War on the McDonald's kiosk? <laughs> Finally, based McDonald's. Never even realized I needed to try to play Rome Total War in a long aspect ratio like this. Waste no time in arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Good quote, sir. Try to be tolerant with others, but strict with yourself. I will apply your wisdom in my life. Hey, wait a second. I guess the idea is right. You just gotta practice a little bit. Sometimes it takes some time. I guess I get it. this doopy how it is. In the Treaty of Versailles, you ban Germany from buying or making any Maxim type machine guns. They just create the MG38 and the MG42 instead. Talk about shooting yourself in the foot there. Pretty much just adapted by making the most advanced gun at the time. Building apartments, Americans versus Soviets versus building metros. Oh, that's where they're putting all their time and effort into. Who cares about what it looks like on the outside? Let's make sure the inside and all the tunnels are cool. We didn't really care about our tunnels at all out here. Metro tunnels like this can also act as a nice shelter in case of uh, nuclear annihilation, right? Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that the sword of a thousand truths? I'm afraid it is. Swords will always be outclassed by spears. Shut up, shut up! Oh my god, this thing's so annoying. Just because you can say truthful things all the times doesn't mean you have to. The staff of King George III when they collect his bedpan and discover his urine is blue. Wait, wait, why would his urine be blue? It's some sort of mental disorder, I guess, that caused it to be this color? What? I figured, like, whatever treatment he was trying instead was like causing it to be you know like some sort of side effect they were probably having I don't know leeches suck on his skin or something I don't think that would turn it blue but I'm just saying Italians in 1573 when the merchants bring some funky new beans from the Ottomans is this a coffee reference yes I think this is a coffee reference it's weird to think the Italian peninsula even existed before this bean energy bean juice is the best the French had their own Vietnam in Spain LMAO Spain was France's Vietnam yeah me who knows France's Vietnam was Vietnam okay well France had two Vietnams then I guess just like the Soviet Union had two Afghanistans with Finland Europeans be like why constant war my brother in Christ you made the borders they're like oh that's right I forgot about that Wait, just drawing lines randomly has a bunch of consequences? I mean, yeah, maybe initially, but the fact that it's been going on for decades, wow. Didn't expect that. Austrians and the Ottomans fighting each other for centuries only to perish together in World War One as allies. It's kind of beautiful in a very strange way. Weird what the World Wars did because it also brought England and France and the US together for the first time. This event just like pulled them all into the twilight zone. Flight attendant, is there a 
doctor on board! Dad nudging me. That should have been you. <sighs> Not now, Dad. Not asking for a historian to help, are they? Dad, there's a medical emergency happening right now. Why don't you go tell them about Rome and see if that helps? This is why all dads need to be forced to play Rome Total War. And maybe he'll finally respect me. Although I doubt it. Your nation is at war with an enemy of equal strength. Pick three generals to command your forces. The rest would command the enemy forces. I don't think this one's too difficult for me, at least. Considering I only really recognize a few of them anyways. You gotta go with Rommel. That's an easy one. And then Patton and finally MacArthur. Because he has no fear of using nukes. So at the very least, we won't take an L. The entire world will be set ablaze before we do that. The 1860 US election versus 1864 US election. You'd be so surprised the amount of things that can go down in the span of four years. Your entire country could literally be ripped apart. And big thanks to Twickenham, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, Drew's Argentinian Grandpa, Austin Powers, Baja, $20 is a lot, a Drew, Fat Norwal, Bornski W, Isaac, I guess, Bring Back Porn Cowboys 83, Price, Go I stole Raya, Drew's Pugs Dog, Mundy, Lundy, Philip R.S., Robert E., Rye the, the Mexican 760, and why am I doing this?